Hi everyone, my name is Matt Anderson, and this video is on hardness and conductivity of cooling water. So for hardness, we're talking about the amount of dissolved magnesium and calcium. And for conductivity, we're talking about the ability to pass an electrical current. So for water hardness, if you look the by region, uh, your groundwater can have uh, various amounts of calcium and magnesium. And you can see that the southeast, northeast, northwest, uh, primarily soft water, uh, which would you consider in terms of low hardness, um, as calcium carbonate milligrams per liter. And then you can see um, many parts of the country have hard water, um, looking like Utah, many parts of Texas, Arizona, Southern California. So there's a lot of confusion over conductivity or hardness. And so conductivity, especially by me, and dissolved salts and inorganic compounds increase the ability of water to conduct electricity. Uh, so when it increases the ability to conduct electricity, that increases the conductivity of the water. Hardness is expressed in milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate equivalent, and so it's magnesium or calcium only. So harder water equals more scale, which is primarily calcium carbonate in your cooling water system, which is not good. So it's possible to have low conductivity soft water, that's very common, and also to have high conductivity hard water. Um, what's less common would be to have high conductivity soft water. So one example of that would be sugar water. Um, if you can think of that, uh, sugar water would have high conductivity, it has a very good ability to um, pass an electrical current. However, sugar uh, would not contribute to that calcium or magnesium uh, count, which is how you determine if it's soft or hard water. So you could have sugar water that's low in calcium and magnesium, which would be high conductivity soft water. Uh, now about hard water that's low conductivity, I couldn't come up with a, an example. Uh, so if anyone knows one, uh, that would be great to add to the comments. But for now, I put rare or impossible. Um, key though is that they're not the same and there's no direct formula between hardness and conductivity. So here's a table, even though I just said there's no direct um, you know, equation, that's true. Um, however, many people do try and put out um, kind of correlations. So this is one example that shows you the conductivity in micro siemens per centimeter and then the hardness. And uh, they also threw one more um, unit on there of French degrees of hardness, which I had never heard of before. So generally, your conductivity will increase uh, with the hardness of the water. For your cooling water, high hardness is bad. And the reason for this is that you have calcium carbonate, which is scale formation. And I put there a fact, which is that this scale will form in your facility's most critical exchanger, without doubt. It'll also probably happen in the most critical time of a run. Um, and this is why you should care. So here's an example of uh, what scale can look like. And I have definitely seen scale worse than this. I've seen scale not, not as bad, but I've also seen scale where uh, even a majority of your tubes are plugged um, and calcium carbonate can form rather quickly. And that all goes back to your water hardness, among other things, but um, primarily water hardness. So high conductivity, not always bad. It's not the same as hardness where you have high conductivity, something's wrong. Uh, typically, high conductivity, you're talking about higher cycles of your cooling water. So cooling water systems, uh, they monitor your cycles, which is the amount of times that water is going to spin around uh, before leaving it, either through evaporation or blowdown. And conductivity is used to measure that. And so an example would be if your makeup water is 1,000 microsiemens per centimeter and your circulating cooling water is at 3,000 microsiemens per centimeter, this means that the system is operating with three cycles because you divide your makeup water conductivity by your circulating cooling water conductivity. So if you have all the other chemicals in check, and you are um, designed to operate at higher cycles, then higher conductivity is not necessarily bad. Uh, in summary, high hardness, scale, which is not good. Uh, and that scale is calcium carbonate. High conductivity uh, means you're probably at higher cycles. Um, not necessarily good, bad, or good. Depends what your design is. And there is no formula to, to convert directly between hardness to conductivity. So you can't use one to calculate the other. Um, yeah, thank you.